years ago, uh, I, I personally, I, I wanted to do something special when I was in the UK. And that special thing was doing a summer of cider. And England has, England, Wales, Scotland, um, and I would assume Ireland, never been there, um, all have quite the selection of various ciders. Every town and um, even, even down to uh, various supermarkets have various brands that are unique to that area. So I took it upon myself to try as many different ciders as I could. Um, and I ended up trying about Oh God, about 24 different ciders while I was in the UK uh, over about seven weeks. Um, and that was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but that was before Asian Adventures. That was before my YouTube channel. So all I did was I just took pictures of each one, um, brief, briefly spoke about like how, you know, what it tasted like, was it good, was it bad, and then I posted to Facebook. That was about it. Uh, but now that I have this channel and I wanted to kind of recreate that experience, uh, but in film for all of you. So um, we're gonna just go ahead, gonna go ahead and start off. First off, we have a uh, Smirnoff cider. Yes, Smirnoff, not just for vodka, but for cider as well. Um, this is a Smirnoff cider with raspberry and pomegranate. There you go. Um, I don't think I've ever had this one. I remember during the original Summer of Cider in 2016, I uh, did have a Smirnoff, but I think it was a strawberry and cucumber. Uh, uh, cider. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Smirnoff, raspberry, and pomegranate. You can hit with a very strong raspberry flavor. Um, and the pomegranate kind of comes in towards the end. But it's really, really nice. Very crisp, very refreshing. This has been sitting in the fridge for a good long time. It's ice, ice cold. Um, which, in my opinion, is the way that a cider needs to be drunk. If you have a room temperature, or God forbid, a warm cider is nasty. I have had the misfortune of trying a uh, warm cider, and it was not very nice. And again, the initial hit of raspberry is then followed up with that pomegranate flavor, really, really nice. I can see how this would go great on a hot summer's day such as it is today in the UK. So um, there we go. So now I'm gonna be having probably one of these a day. The next time you see me in a couple seconds, will be maybe tomorrow or the day after that uh, with a new cider. So uh, here we go, cider number two. All right, so here we are on the second day of our Summer of Cider tour that I'm going that I'm giving you guys. Um, so also, I just wanted to kind of uh, mention something I forgot to mention yesterday, or a second ago for you, um, is that the um, Smirnoff actually had uh, Smirnoff vodka in it as well. Um, not a tremendous amount. Uh, the Actually, a very small amount, to be completely honest, um, because the, the alcohol content of the entire bottle is only 4%, so it's actually um, fairly low in terms of alcohol content. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that. Also, um, I just kind of wanted to put a timestamp on these. Yesterday was July 2nd. Today is July 3rd. So there we go. So now we're going to go ahead and jump right into our next cider, which this is uh, from New Zealand. Ooh. And uh, this is uh, Old Moot Cider, Passion Fruits and Apple. Passion Fruit and Apple Cider. There you go. Again, this one is icy, icy cold, just like the Smirnoff. The only way to drink a cider is icy cold. So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy. All right, here we go. Mm, right off the bat, the smell is amazing. Oh, oh, you get such a beautiful mix of the passion fruit and the apple in the aroma. Oh, it's tantalizing. Let's give it a taste. That's really, really tart from uh, the passion fruit. The apple is almost non-existent in the flavor. I think the passion fruit kind of overwhelms the flavor of the apple because by comparison, uh, the passion fruit is a significantly stronger flavor uh, to the apple, the apple being much milder in this case. Um, still very good. Um, a bit on the sweet side. It's, it, it's, a little, it's a little bit sweet. I prefer a slightly drier um, cider myself. Still excellent though, um, and I would highly recommend. Now, I unfortunately don't know how much this guy cost. Um, my sister-in-law, Philly, she bought all of these before I even got here, so I don't know exactly how much they cost. I don't think they're probably more than about um, a pound, a pound 50 uh, a piece. So not overly expensive. In uh, American dollars, that would be about, uh, Two, $1.75 to maybe two twenty-five. So here we go. I don't want to talk too long. So let's go ahead and go on to uh, day three 
and cider number three. All right, so here we are on our third day of uh, cider. So uh, it is July 4th, so happy 4th of July. Uh, of course, obviously, this is uh, a few weeks later, so it's a bit of a belated happy 4th, but happy 4th of July. Um, funny enough, it's actually raining today. It seems that Britain is very sad about the 4th of July, being that, of course, this is the celebration of us declaring our independence away from the British Empire. So, kind of ironic there. Um, also, staying with the theme of America today, I have chosen to go with this cider. This is a Jack Daniels Tennessee cider. I thought that was only appropriate, considering that uh, it's an American brew. So, let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, Jack Daniels Tennessee cider, crisp apple cider, 5.5% uh, alcohol. Here we go. That's nice. Wow. So, mmm. You get the apple flavor, obviously. It's an apple cider. You get the apple flavor. But you also get just an ever so faint flavor of Jack Daniels whiskey. Um, really nice. Really smooth. Very, very good. I've never had Jack Daniels cider. I've seen them um, in the States, but I've never once had them. This is very, very good. Most impressed. I would definitely get this again. Very, very good. Um, but see you tomorrow with another uh, cider. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button down below and share it on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, all that different stuff. Don't forget to also leave a comment down below if you're feeling a bit chatty. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. So until next time, bye!